Oh, guys, something's not right. Something's not right. I can smell it. I, I know you can't smell it, but something stinks. So right here behind me on the workbench is my old underseat subwoofer box. I used this box for probably six or seven years. It performed just fine. I've enjoyed it immensely. It's got a pair of Polk Audio 10s that I picked up really cheap back when I was just kind of first getting back into the car audio hobby. Since I'm working on a major upgrade and overhaul, I've decided that I need to just get this thing out of the way. It's been sitting in the shop for probably six months. A cat's been sleeping on it. It's a bit of a mess. I'm gonna grab the shop back, see if I can get some of the cat hair off this thing. I'm gonna throw it up on a Facebook marketplace or a Craigslist here locally and see if I can get rid of it for cheap. I'm sure there's some kid out there who would love to have a nice box and a pair of 10 inch subwoofers. While I'm cleaning the cat hair off the box, let me take a second to thank my patrons over on Patreon. These guys get bonus content behind the scenes footage, and they've already seen this video because they get early access to all my videos. If that sounds cool, then check the links in the video description. If you can't support me on Patreon, that's all right. You can show your support by hitting that like button. Hey guys, I've hit a little snag here. Let me grab the GoPro and get in close so you can see what's going on. So what I found is there's a little water line on the box. This box has been in a third gen Ram. And if you know anything about those trucks, the third brake light tends to leak and water can, can accumulate down into the little cubby holes where this woofer sits. You can tell it's leaking because you can smell it. And I, you know, over the years, I've had the truck for probably as long as I've had the enclosure. I've smelled it. I've sealed it off and the light bulb goes out and some mechanic breaks the seal and it's gotten wet from time to time. The MDF feels solid. My thought was if it's going to get wet, the MDF is just going to cave right in and it hasn't. So I still might be able to sell the box, but I want to open it up and see what's going on inside the enclosure. I'm going to, I'm going to do that right now. Everything looks just fine on this side right here. Let me grab the GoPro, look down in there and show you that there's nothing wrong with this side of the enclosure. So this enclosure might still be good. I might still be able to salvage it, make a few bucks, get rid of this old piece of equipment and get it out of my house. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the woofer out of the other side just to verify that everything is in good shape. I'm optimistic. If one side's not damaged, the other side's going to be just fine. It's probably just cosmetic. These are the screws that came with the woofer. They're huge. That's total overkill. Oh, guys, something's not right. Something's not right. I can smell it. I, I, I know you can't smell it, but something stinks. Oh, I don't think this is going to be good, y'all. Oh. Oh God, oh, that stinks. Oh my God. I don't know if I wanna look in here. This is not gonna be good. Oh no, go oh, guys, this is terrible. This box is ruined. Oh no, oh God, that stinks. That can't be good. Oh yuck. Oh man, let me get the GoPro out and show y'all what's going on. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, look at the water line. Oh, it's hideous and it stinks like hell, guys. Oh my goodness, look at, look at the mold, man. There's mold growing. The water seeped all the way through the MDF. And even though it's still solid and it still plays, oh God, I'm going to clean my hands up. And it stinks like hell, guys. Oh my God, it's soaked through the box and it's like molded and mildewed inside the box. It's all white and nasty looking and it's all over the bottom of it, man. This box is ruined. I mean, it's, it's so amazing to me because the MDF still feels solid. It's not soft. So it, it got wet and it dried out, but this is, this is nasty guys. I can't, man, I can't sell this to somebody. This box has to go in the trash. It's going, we're, we're hauling this thing to the dumpster. 
Oh, that's just nasty, guys. I'm um, sorry y'all had to see that. So guys, obviously, I can't sell this box on, on Marketplace or Craigslist. It's gonna go in the dumpster. If I were dishonest, um, I'd just put it out there for sale and then some kid would buy it and they'd get a nasty box. Wait, Here's wait, the... wait, stop, stop, stop. Hang on, we're, we got something else we gotta do before we throw this box away. I'm gonna pull the carpet off the enclosure, then I'm gonna roll this thing outside of the garage. I try to keep all of my workbenches on wheels so I can just roll things out when I need to. Things are about to get real dusty. I'm gonna grab my sander and I'm gonna go around the edges of this box and I'm gonna get rid of all that fuzz that's left over from when I pulled the carpet off. I don't want that to get clogged up in my router bit. And hey guys, while I'm working on that, let me remind you, Mondays at seven o'clock central time, don't forget to tune in for the sound advice live stream and podcast that I do with Hi5 Vega and Toys DIY Audio. It's just three dudes hanging out with you in the chat talking about audio stuff. We rotate that around our channels. Every Monday night, we're on a different channel, so make sure you subscribe to all of us so you don't miss that. Ran out to the big box store. I got some of this right here. It's 3 16th each hardboard. It's really handy just to have laying around. I'm gonna take a piece of that hardboard. I'm just gonna screw it down to the top of the subwoofer enclosure so it doesn't float around on me while I'm doing the next step in the process. Speaking of the next step, now I'm gonna drop in a flush trim bit into my cordless router. I love this cordless router. I'm not fighting a cord anymore when I wanna do something. I'm gonna go around the edge of this thing and make a copy of the top of this old enclosure. Oh my God, look at all the dust this is kicking up. I'm really glad I rolled this thing outside. This is a mess. Now you're gonna notice as I'm trimming that the edges aren't smooth. That's because I'm using a really dull bit. This is a cheap bit that I picked up a few months ago. It just didn't stand up well to repeated use. So this thing's going in the trash and I've got another one ordered. Hopefully it'll be a better bit. I'll make sure you get some links down in the description. And this is the result. Now I've got a perfect template that I can use in my underseat subwoofer build. I'll know exactly where the speaker cutouts will be. I've got the notch here for the split seat. I don't have a split seat in my truck, but some of them do. And I've got that front profile laid out perfectly. If you wanna see what's going on in that build, make sure you hit this playlist right here. And you can hit the subscribe button right over here, and I'll see you on the next adventure.